What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I wanna show you how you can attach your tracking pixels to your ClickBank account. So in particular, your order form and your order form thank you page. So you know how many people landed on your order form and how many people actually bought because these are pages you have no control over. So you cannot put tracking pixels on there, all right? So that's something we're gonna do. So first of all, let's just start off by quickly showing you where to get your pixels. So we're gonna go to uh, track conversions. And this is your action pixel. That's for the first action they take. Your engagement pixel for the second action they take. Your sales pixel for the third action they take. Now you can put these pixels honestly anywhere. Okay, these are just names. You can put them anywhere you want. Um, and you can reference where they came from by adding something after this ref value. So in our video where we discussed where your traffic source comes from, you can add a little sub ID. This kind of functions like in, in the exact same way. Um, so normally people put their sales tracking pixel at the very end, signifying that, hey, someone bought my item, confirmed. Normally people put their engagement pixel um, on the order form page saying, hey, someone's engaged, someone's about to buy. And then the action tracking pixel, maybe when someone opts in, okay? But again, you can put these anywhere as long as you know what each of those uh, what 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 each of those pixels represents to you all right so first thing i'm going to do let me put in my action tracking pixel into my click funnels page so let me put it on my thank you page signifying that hey someone has subscribed so i'm just going to go into edit page and you can put this pixel anywhere uh, ideally you want to put it at the top of the page so that um, as soon as the page loads you can track that someone went there right because the the, the pixel is just it's a tiny little bit of a page that's located somewhere on the page. So if you put it in the header, it's going to be up top. Now, the only thing with click funnels is it may cause a little problem. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Over here, see, there's just a little bit of extra space, but that's fine. We're just going to ignore that for now. Uh, but basically now we've added our pixel. So whenever someone subscribes and lands on this page, the pixel is going to fire. Now we've done that part. So now we need to put in our pixels into ClickBank. So I've logged into ClickBank here. So first thing we need to do, let's go into settings. Let's go into my site. And let's scroll down and go to add tracking code, okay? And here you can actually put tracking pixels from whatever source you're using. You can use Bing, which is currently not working, by the way. It's gonna tell you, um, well, actually, on the knowledge base form, it's gonna tell you that, that that Bing isn't supported yet. There's been some changes and Bing doesn't really work right now, but you can use Google, you can use Facebook, uh, you can use Yahoo, or you can use basic tracking pixels. So this is what we're gonna select. So we need to put our tracking pixel on the order form. Suppose you wanna track how many people were about to buy, how many people landed on that page that says order now. So let's grab our engagement pixel. Let's go, sorry about that guys. Let's. Just, just ate some pizza in. Um, so let's put that here. So what we need to do here now, so let me just show you. If you click on save, it says a tracking pixel must be HTTPS ready. So if I put in HTTPS and I click save, it says the same problem. And you're like, hey, what's going on? How do I fix this? Well, what you have to do is just instead of providing this HTTP code, which says image source equals whatever, we're just gonna delete that. So delete all that. And let's delete that as well. That is something that ClickBank puts in automatically. So do not worry about that. The only thing you have to do is leave it at this. Okay, ref equals. And you can put the ref value. Um, now, in this case, it's, it's quite irrelevant uh, because we only have one pixel. If you have multiple engagement pixels, you have an engagement pixel here, 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 and here on all these pages, you can add something in the ref value just like we did in our video where you tracked several traffic sources and you put a sub ID. So in this spot, you put whatever. So you, for example, say this is the pixel for order form. On another engagement pixel, you could say this is the pixel for someone checking out my uh, about us page. You can say that, okay? And that's how you would track it. So um, I'll leave it at order form right now just to get into the habit. And now I will click save. And there you go. It's good to go. It is inactive. So let's activate it and voila okay it is done so now what we need to do is we need to put the action pixel on the actual thank you page so let's go again add tracking code let's put this sales pixel here and let's just do the exact same thing so we're going to go order confirmation receipt 
We're going to say affiliate. If, if we are affiliates, if we're selling our own products, you click vendor. Let's do that and let's do the exact same thing. And you need to just add a little S here because it has to be secure. The page is secure, so it doesn't really matter. So just add the S, delete all that. And you here you can put a ref value. I mean, again, if, if you have multiple sales values, just or multiple sales pixels, just say uh, thank you order form. All right, let's click save. And there you go. So let's action that. So we've done that. Let's go here. So let's test it out. We've put everything in. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab my URL. Let me go to a new page. Now I'm not going to actually buy my product so you won't see the sales pixel fire, but hopefully that engagement pixel firing based on people coming to the order page will give you a good idea of the fact that it's working. Okay. So I've come here now. Uh, let me just scroll down. Let me say, show me the video. Put in a bogus email. Feel free to, to, to email that email whenever you guys want. <laughs> All right. So uh, we didn't set this Hi, page up. We didn't set this page up. Let me see what I can do to... Because we need to get, get to that order Hi, form, right? right? So here's that order form. So let me click on that. And there you go. So here's your order form. Diabetes loophole. So let's go back and let's see what happened here. So as you can see here, now you have the 100% and the one action pixel firing, meaning we went on our thank you page, and the 100% engagement pixel firing, which signified people landed on your order page. So that's how you do it. That's it. If someone buys, it'll fire this sales pixel. So it's going to give you a really good idea. Oops. It's going to give you a really good idea of just by looking at one line of where you stand. Okay, so very convenient. So I hope that helped. If you guys have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe if you already subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.